Welcome to the ITEST program introduced by Tandon School of Engineering, NYU. With a series of lessons, this curriculum takes you over the basic knowledge required to get started with robotics. Here within the document is the link to the details of all the components used in this course. Lesson 1 Introduction to Robotics. Contents. The topics covered in this lesson are an outline and objective of the ITEST program. History of robotics. Components of a robot. The tasks and or activities for this lesson include. Introduction to the robots of Mechatronics, Controls, and Robotics Laboratory at Tandon School of Engineering, NYU. Brief outline of ITEST program. Conceptual and practical learning of basic robotics concepts. Arduino platform to program the robots. Building and programming a mobile robot with VEX EDR Robotics Kit. An overview to the lessons in this program is as follows. The objective of the program is to launch a project-based learning to engage students and increase interest. Capture the core concept of the project's sense of purpose. Promote skills such collaboration, communication, critical thinking, decision-making for students to formulate their own questions testing and validation of creative ideas. Have iterative feedback revision make learning purposeful. Fundamentals of robots. The term robot originated from a 1921 Czech play, Rossum's Universal Robots, from Czech, Robota, Work, by Carol Kapik. A robot is defined by Robot Institute of America as a reprogrammable, multifunctional manipulator designed to move material, parts, tools, or specialized devices through variable programmed motions for the performance of a variety of tasks. There have been established four laws of robotics for ethical purposes. The three laws of robotics were developed by science fiction writer Isaac Asimov, who sought to create an ethical system for humans and robots. Asimov also added a fourth, or zeroth law, to precede the others. In his short story, Runaround, he coined the term, robota, referring to an artificial human. Law 1. A robot may not injure a human being, or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm, unless this would violate a higher order law. That is, a tool must not be unsafe to use. If a person were to injure himself with one of the tools on the robot, that injury would only be only due to his incompetence. But not due to the design of the robot. Law 2. A robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. A tool must perform its function efficiently unless this would harm the user. The safety of the user is paramount. Law 3. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. A tool must remain intact during its use unless its destruction is required for its use or for safety. Zeroth Law. A robot may not injure humanity, or, through inaction, allow humanity to come to harm. A robot must not merely act in the interests of individual humans, but of all humanity. Activity 1. Have you ever come across a robot in your life? If yes, what kind of robot have you encountered? What was your involvement with it? Have you been a part of any robotics activity before? If yes, what did you learn from it? History of Robotics. The first industrial robot. Unimate. The first programmable robot was designed by George Deval, who coined the term universal automation later shortened to Unimation, which becomes the name of the first robot company, 1962. The first Unimate robot was installed at GM's Inland Fisher Guide Plant in Ewing Township, New Jersey. As a note, Unimate originally automated the manufacture of TV picture tubes. In 1978, the Puma robot, short for Programmable Universal Machine for Assembly, was developed by Unimation with support of General Motors design. It has been used since 1978 to assemble automobile subcomponents such as dash panels and lights. Later in the 1980s, the robot industry entered a phase of rapid growth. Robotics has come a long way, from being a story to a reality. Many institutions introduce programs and courses in robotics. Robotics courses are spread across mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, and computer science departments. 
From introduction of term robot as an artificial human in 1921 to humanoid robot Sophia, we can see an exponential growth and future. From 1995 to the present day emerging applications in small robotics and mobile robots have driven a second growth of startup companies and research. Components of a robot. A robot to function together as one. It requires some key components as explained below. Power conversion unit as a battery to give power to the system. Actuators are generally motors attached with wheels in mobile robot or to manipulators to drive their movement. Controller is the brain of the system. It can independently or via input, output devices, switches, push buttons, sensors, LCD displays, relays etc. Control various processes and devices such as industrial automation, electric current, temperature, engine performance etc. Sensors measure robot configuration or condition and its environment and send such information to robot controller as electronic signals. User interface can be a joystick or a mobile application which helps us to manipulate the robot as required. Sensors. Robots often need beyond five human senses, e.g., night vision, detect tiny amounts of invisible radiation, measure small and fast movement. Robot sensors. Measure robot configuration, condition and its environment and send it to robot controller as electronic signals, e.g., position, pressure, presence of toxic gas. For example, an ultrasonic sensor is shown here. Measure distance by using ultrasonic waves. A touch sensor such as FlexiForce sensor, can measure force between almost any two surfaces. Actuators. Actuator. A device that produces a motion by converting energy and signals going into the system to motion. The motion it produces can be either rotary or linear. A few types of motors include DC motor, servo motor, stepper motor and a pneumatic motor. Controllers. Controller also called as microcontroller, is the brain of the robots. It provides necessary intelligence to control the manipulator, mobile robot. It process the sensory information and compute the control commands for the actuators to carry out specified tasks. A few examples of microcontrollers in various robots include Arduino Uno, Raspberry Pi and ARM Cortex. Let us have a look of the robots at the Mechatronics, Controls, and Robotics Laboratory at Tandon School of Engineering, NYU.
Thank you.